we are talking about factoring and when factoring a skill that is very helpful is being able to understand how two numbers can multiply to one product and add to a different sum. And the faster we're able to do that and the more patterns we're able to recognize, the better we will be at factoring. So we have a couple examples that we're going to talk about. And the examples are uh, find two numbers that multiply to one given number and add to another given number. So here we have the product is 56 and the two numbers add to 15. So two numbers that we could check is uh, 4 and 14. So we have to check for the product, which is multiplication. So 4 times 14 is 56. And when we add these two together, 4 plus 14 is 18. So although we did find two numbers that are that are multiplied together to become 56, they don't add together to be 15. So this pattern doesn't work. So we have to try it again. So two other numbers that we could try. In this case, we're going to try 7 and 8. All right, 7 multiplied by 8 is still 56. And 7 plus 8 is 15. So then the two numbers that we are looking for are 7 and 8. We can look at uh, number 2 here. A product of negative 8 and a sum of negative 7. So I always like to start with the product. What numbers multiply together? And whenever we see 8, uh, 4 is always a good number to pick. So I'm going to try 4 and 2. So I know 4 times 2 will get me 8, but now I notice that there's a negative sign out front. So in order for there to be a negative sign, one of these has to be negative. So I'll just try 4 and make that negative. Negative 4 times 2, if we multiply it together, that is going to give us negative 8. So that one works. However, when we go to add these together, negative 4 plus 2 becomes negative 2. And I'm not really close here. So probably negative or the numbers of 4 and 2 are not going to work out well. So what are some other numbers that could possibly multiply together to negative 8? One number that we could always pick is 8 and 1. So if we multiply 8 times 1, we get positive 8. So i got to make one of these negative. So I'll try making the 1 negative. 8 times negative 1, if we multiply, that is negative 8. 8 plus negative 1, that's positive 7. All right, so we do have the negative 8, but our sign is backwards here for our 7. So then I can recognize that if we use the same two numbers, which are 8 and 1, but then we change the sign, so make the 1 positive and make the 8 negative, when we multiply those together, negative 8 times 1 is negative 8. And negative 8 plus 1 is negative 7. So negative 8 and 1 are the numbers that multiply to negative 8 and add to negative 7. We can also take a look at number 3 here. Two numbers that multiply to negative 7. Uh, we should be thinking right off the bat, Negative 27 is going to be 9 times 3. 9 times 3 is going to get me 27. 
Now, the thing that we have to pay attention to is we want it to be negative 27. So in order to be negative 27, we have to have one of these numbers has to be negative. But remember, we want it to add to six. So if I make negative nine, that will give me negative 27, but negative nine plus three will give me a negative six. So what we wanna do is we wanna say, okay, we want it to be positive. Two numbers added together to be positive. So in order for that to happen, the larger number here has to be positive. Nine's the larger number, we're gonna leave that positive. So we make the three negative. Nine times three, nine times negative three is negative 27. Nine plus negative three is equal to six. So nine and negative three are the numbers. In the last example, we have 54 and 15, 54 and negative 15. So 54, uh, if we were thinking about our multiplication tables, we should be thinking about nine and six. So nine times six, that is 54. And nine plus six is positive 15. So in this case, we have the right number, but we have the wrong sign in front. So then we can, we can change the signs for both of these. Remember when we multiply two negative numbers together, that makes it positive again. So negative nine times negative six is still 54. And negative nine plus negative six is negative 15.